What up, good people? And welcome to another episode of This Is Dope. It's your man Ahmad here to discuss something dope that I discovered in tech this week. Um, what I want to share with you guys is that I actually stumbled across it through a series of you know, YouTube videos and articles on the internet was really installing Kali Linux on a Raspberry Pi 4. Why would I want to do that or why should that interest you, right? Well, if you're a predominantly iPad Pro user like I am, and, you know, I use my iPad Pro for about 90 to 95% of the things I do. However, there's that five to 10% gap that I can't accomplish on my iPad Pro due to you know, lack of a traditional OS and certain power user abilities that, you know, that are simply just lacking on the iPad Pro and iPad OS currently. Well, that's where the uh, Raspberry Pi 4 comes into play. You know, I, I need another um, computer, for lack of a better term, I'm carrying around another laptop or, or something along those lines is just impractical for me, right? So, um, being able to install Kali Linux on the Raspberry Pi 4 uh, being, a, a, you know, in information security like I am, that is invaluable. So I'm able to install it, connect to it, and control it all from my iPad. And so it's, it's a minimal footprint that the Raspberry Pi 4 has. So I can just throw it in my bag, just make sure I have the right power source. And then I've set it up so that, it, you know, I'm always able to connect to it without it being wired to my iPad Pro, which is great, right? So I'm gonna to explain to you guys how to do all of this. The video I see is gonna break down in three parts. Really. First part will be downloading the Kali Linux image, installing it on a micro SD card, which is essentially the hard drive of the Raspberry Pi 4. That'll be part one. Part two will be um, you know, obviously inserting the, the micro SD hard drive, configuring Kali Linux to uh, connect to my iPad Pro, also configuring it to allow remote connections so that I can connect to it with my iPad Pro and it not have to be wired or do any type of Ethernet, USB-C Ethernet adapt adapter um, specialist, right? Part three will be really just using Kali Linux from my iPad Pro. And I found a tool that I think is pretty, pretty cool. And it also has some additional functionality with it that um, I think you guys will like. So that's, um, you know, the essential breakdown of all three videos. I didn't want to make this one video. It'd be way, way, way too long. So that's really, um, you know, the plan for, you know, showing you guys this new dopeness. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right to it. This is part one of the three parts that I described earlier that will eventually allow you to be able to use Kali Linux on a Raspberry Pi with your iPad Pro. This first part really is just gonna be downloading the image, getting it installed on a micro SD card, which, Sure everyone knows what a micro SD card looks like, but if not, this is one. Uh, I am using a 12 inch MacBook to give you some perspective on the, the, the type of machine that's needed for this. Not a very powerful machine at all. This is a Raspberry Pi for those of you who are not familiar with it. Very small device, um, really comparable to this is my iPad Pro 11 Max case. This is the this is the Raspberry Pi itself. As you can see, very, very small, very compact, very mobile. Um, ports, two micro HDMI ports, one USB-C, one headphone jack, four USB-A ports, Ethernet port, and then this here is where you stick the micro HD, the micro SD, excuse me, micro SD card at. So first thing we need to do is download the image. So full transparency, I'm not actually going to execute any of this. I've already downloaded the image, fully configured this, that whole deal, but I will walk you through the steps. So you go to offensivesecurity.com, and let's go ahead and try to zoom in here really quick to see if we can get you guys a better shot of the URL.
There we go. OffensiveSecurity.com. What you're going to do is you're going to click on the Cali and InfoSec tools. Click there. It's going to take you here. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll all the way down until you see Cali virtual image downloads here on the left. Do that. Scroll down some more. You're going to be looking for. Kelly Linux ARM device downloads. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna search for Raspberry Pi Foundation. And you, I have a Raspberry Pi 4, so you're gonna look for whatever Raspberry Pi you have. Uh, I, uh, this is gonna offer you a torrent, right? So you're gonna download the torrent, I've been using uTorrent Web. That way I don't have to install a client. Um, it'll download the, the torrent, the, the image for you. The image here is stored here in my downloads folder. Here is the torrent. Here's the Kali Linux image here. As you guys can see there, it's in that folder. Double click it. 1.02 gigs is the size. So what I'm gonna do is I need to make sure that after I've downloaded the image, I stick my micro SD card in my SD card slot. Make sure it's detected in my micro SD card slot. I'm using a USB-C hub with a micro SD attachment or port. And so it is uh, it's detecting it that way, but you can tell it's no name. These are all the files that are installed on it because as I stated earlier, I've already done this. But another piece of software you're gonna to need to get is something called Bellina Etcher. I will paste the link in the description. What it's gonna do is allow you to install the image you download onto that micro SD card. This software is very, very easy to use. Um, it's not complicated at all. It's really just as simple as adding the image that you downloaded. And this is where I downloaded the Kali Linux image that I uh, got from Offensive Security. I'll select this. Then I would select the media that I'm gonna be using, which is the micro SD card. Select your micro SD card that you've inserted into your USB-C hub. Then click flash. It's going to process it, uh, write the image to the micro SD card. It's going to verify it. And then you're done. At the end, you can go ahead and minimize this. You would eject this. You would eject the micro SD card. There we go. So I'm ejecting the micro SD card. And then it's as simple as just sticking this micro SD card in here. And there we have it. Next video will be on connecting this to uh, a monitor, configuring this Kali Linux distro on this Raspberry Pi to be able to be connected to remotely and also configuring it to connect to my iPad's uh, hotspot so that I can communicate with it.